Hi, everyone. I just want to make sure that people can see and hear me. Uh, if you want to like pop in the chat, if everything looks good, that would be great. And then we can kick things off. All right, I'm realizing I cannot see the chat. Ooh. All right. So it is about seven o'clock, so we're going to get started here. I do also want to let everyone know that this portion of the presentation is going to be recorded, uh, but before we get to Q&A, we'll cut off that recording. Um, so hello, and thank you everyone so much for coming to our academic overview session this evening for the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Uh, we will get started now with our agenda for the next uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, so as you can see, you know, this isn't our presentation, but we are leaving the majority of that for Q&A towards the end. So we're just going to go over uh, some information that you all should have and then dig into the Q&A. So first we'll do some really quick introductions. I'm Alice Russell. I am one of the uh, professional academic advisors within the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Um, so I will meet with some of our first year students that we're seeing today. Uh, I work with first and second year students within the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, and this will be my third year as an advisor at UVM. Hey, I'm Rachel Napolin. I'm also a professional academic advisor working with our first and second year students. Um, I have been at UVM for about three years. And I am Dylan Ryman. Uh, this will be my second year as an academic advisor and my first year with sophomores. Um, and uh, I went to UVM myself. All right, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about some communication resources, things that you guys will need to uh, utilize, you know, over the summer and throughout the next four years. So up until now, you've probably been receiving communications through the admissions portal and your personal or high school emails. So now that you're officially starting at UVM, uh, there will be new ways to communicate, um, as you've probably already seen in the new student checklist. So your academic advisors, us and your faculty will only have your UVM email address available to them. So it's super important to start checking that email now, you know, starting over the summer and of course, continuing on in the next few years. Uh, the UVM email address is where all future important communications will be sent out. So really important to stay on top of it. Uh, the next is the My UVM student portal. Uh, this is where you log in with your UVM net ID and password. This is where you can update personal information, your mailing address. This is where you will be registering for classes, checking your grades, viewing your schedule. And it's also where you can see exactly where on campus your classes will be before they start up. Uh, it also has a ton of other functions. If you've been able to log into it so far, you've probably seen about a million links popping up. So it's definitely super, super useful. Um, the student portal is going to become even more useful for you as the semester gets started. But for now, just make sure that you're able to log into it using your NetID and password so that you have access to it. Uh, UVM also uses two video uh, conferencing applications that you'll need. The first is the one that we're on right now, Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is required for all students at UVM to use, and it will be kind of the most common way to connect with people uh, remotely whenever that's necessary. The second uh, application is going to be Zoom, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Uh, Zoom is required for students just within the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. This is the platform that's going to be most widely used by your CNHS instructors, as well as us as your academic advisors. Um, your summer course registration is also going to be on Zoom, so we won't be using Teams for that. So it's really important to make sure that you have both Teams and Zoom set up on your laptop ahead of time. There's also the Brightspace learning platform or just Brightspace. Um, so this is also linked within the MyUVM student portal. You use your NetID and password, and that's what you use to log into it. Uh, this is where your instructors will upload the class syllabus as well as any assignments that they want done electronically. You can also submit work through there. Um, you'll begin seeing things added to Brightspace closer towards the uh, start of the semester, kind of mid-August, late August. So if you log in now and don't see anything in there, don't worry. Uh, instructors typically like flick on the on switch for that much closer to the start of the semester. Um, Brightspace is also where you will see like any required textbooks that you'll need for your courses. 
Uh, Navigate 360 or just Navigate is the app that you can add on your phone and it's where you can um, make appointments for certain support services on campus. Uh, and it's also where we will schedule your one on one advising appointments over the summer for course registration. Uh, it's also useful for connecting with the tutoring center, setting up uh, appointments with them during the semester. Uh, the link to that is going to be on the orientation website. It's also on the new student checklist, which you guys should be um, staying on top of during this time. Finally, there's also the Zimi app, uh, which is also again on the orientation website. And this is the you know, official UVM social media app for admitted students. So if you're looking to like get chatting with other folks in your major and want to make those connections before you get to campus, this is a great resource for that. Um, again, I'm Rachel, and I'm going to fill you in on the details of course registration. Um, you will meet on Zoom with an academic advisor to finalize your fall course schedule. These are going to be one on one course registration appointments that are just between you and one of the advisors in our office. These appointments will take place between June 10th and July 5th. Um, an email will be, will be sent out to your UVM email address once you're able to sign up for a course registration appointment. You'll be able to pick the day and the time that works best for you. If you have already been clicking around the My UVM Student Portal, you might have noticed a few classes were already preloaded onto your schedule. These are just to hold um, spots in particular courses. You will have the opportunity to review and make changes to these courses when you meet with an advisor to finalize your fall course schedule. This course registration appointment isn't the only time we'll be in contact. We know that many of you are still waiting on AP scores or transfer credit that could impact your fall schedule. We'll be available later this summer as well if you end up needing any tweets or changes to your schedule. Um, so you'll see a registration hold on your account before your appointment. It will be listed as OR new student registration hold. This is normal and has been added to all new students at UVM. This hold will be removed when you meet with an advisor to finalize your fall course schedule. A registration hold prevents you from making any changes to your course schedule. You'll be able to update your schedule uh, during your registration appointment, and then the hold is added back onto your account until all students have had their chance to register for classes. After July 8th, there will no longer be a hold on your account that prevents you from changing your classes. It is still important to talk to an academic advisor before changing your schedule, however. Majors in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences have strict requirements, and we don't want you dropping a course that is a graduation requirement. So let's see, you've, you'll have seen two summer placement exams on your new student checklist. The first is the Alex math placement exam. This is only required for students who will be taking calculus. Um, there's no placement exam required for statistics. Uh, we do have two majors that require calculus, which are medical laboratory sciences and medical radiation science. If you're part of either MLS or MRS, you do need to complete the math placement exam before your course registration appointment. All other CNHS majors don't have to take Alex math placement unless you would like to take calculus as an elective or for pre-med requirements. Uh, no students in CNHS are required to take the foreign language placement before course registration. The only major on our college that requires a language course is communication sciences and disorders. The placement exam would be recommended for CSD students or any students who would like to take Spanish or French in their first semester. Great. So confidentiality and FERPA. The FERPA is the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. Uh, it is a federal re regulation for uh, to protect student privacy. Um, this means that once a student starts college, their educational records are private unless they give a specific permission to share information with family members. There is a waiver form available on the registrar's office website that allows a student to share information with parents. This is called the FERPA Rights Disclosure Form. 
So it is different from the proxy form, uh, which you might be familiar with, which is only for financial information. We recommend that students and their parents have a conversation before the start of the first semester about how they plan to handle FERPA regulations, what information they will share personally, and what access they would like to allow. So every major at UVM, every major at every university, I'm sure, has every uh, or has academic standards that are set by their department. We have given an overview on the screen. These are GPA. Uh, these are the GPA and course requirements that you need in order to stay in good academic standing in your major. Uh, full details on the academic requirements for each major are in the undergraduate handbook, which I will talk about now. Um, the undergraduate handbook was emailed to you and added to your student checklist last Friday. If you haven't found it found time already, it would be a good idea to review the handbook before your course registration appointment so you can bring it up, bring up any questions you have with your academic advisor when we meet one on one. The handbook covers the grade requirement for your major in more detail. It also gives details on essential functions and clinical requirements for each major. Essential functions differ from academic standards because they refer to the criteria for behavior that must be demonstrated by a student and, per, and professional programs, including uh, codes of ethics. This does include academic integrity. UVM's academic integrity policy is built on a system of trust that students will, be, will not plagiarize or cheat on assignments or exams. Violations of the academic integrity policy could result in academic consequences, such as a zero on an assignment or failure of the course, but also conduct violations if you are found to no longer meet the ethical requirements for your program. We aren't saying all of this to be alarming, but we do want you to be fully aware of these policies. The handbook also covers information on what to do if you ever need to take time off, for example, due to medical withdrawal or a leave of absence. Finally, the very last page of the handbook will be the acknowledgement page. You will need to sign and return the acknowledgement acknowledgement page to your to our office once you have time to review everything thoroughly. Again, it would be a good it would be great if you could read it before your course registration appointment in case you have uh, questions about the wording or policy so we can help answer those questions. And with that, uh, that concludes our presentation. I'm going to stop recording now, um, so feel free to ask any questions. Um, I'm just going to hit the stop recording.